Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart and welcome to the Honeycomb Hideout. The Honeycomb Hideout. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got the bees. You see them back there? They they yes. doing their thing. Yes. We have three nucleus colonies here. And after we finish with them, we're gonna explain everything to you all. So what we're getting ready to do, you all, we, we purchased three nucleus colonies from the Middle Georgia Beekeepers Association, I believe. Yes. And um, you all, we got three colonies from them. And there's gonna be a difference between getting packaged bees and nucleus colonies. Uh, nucleus colonies. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. But first, you all, we've gotten them in. They've been here on the homestead for four days now. And according to the instructors, they advised us to bring them, put them in the spot where they are gonna be and mm -hmm. leave them there for about two or three days to allow them an opportunity to settle down and of course, get reoriented yeah. to their new, or get oriented to their new location. Yeah, get their navigation set. Yeah. So when they get ready to go out, they know which way to it's come back. Home. That's right. Yeah, they know what home is. That's right. And, and they got the scent of the yeah. queen. So we're just so. gonna go ahead now. Remember those frames that we waxed the other day? We're getting ready now to put those bees inside of their actual deep brood box, okay? So we're literally gonna take all of the frames out, put them inside of the brood box in the order in which we take them out of the nukes, okay? And that's how we're gonna arrange them. So y'all, we're gonna bring y'all closer in, okay? Yeah. So y'all can see, but I gotta get my glasses on. Oh, you gotta get set up. I gotta get set up, Mr. H. Plus I gotta be able to clean my glasses so I can see. So we getting ready to do this, y'all. The honeycomb hideout. I mean, it's stuck on there too. That's from these gloves. All right. Hopefully, I can see. It won't give me too much of a smudge. All right, y'all. Getting suited and booted. <laughs> <laughs> you getting suited and booted, Mrs. A. Yep. That's what you got to do when you're dealing with these bees in the we honeycomb hideout. That's out. right. We finna go watch, check out the sisterhood, y'all. Telling you. The honeycomb hideout. Now, you said something when you said the sisters, but I'm talking about the drones now. We ain't going to talk about them. Why we ain't going to talk about the drones? Because they done done their job. It's over for them. Okay, well, we're going to talk about these drones It's over now. for them. It's so, over. Drones are the male bees. It's over for them, baby. Come on. Let's get you straight. Okay. It's over for them. I know you like but, them and but all, the but their job, are, job is over. The drones are good. Their job is done. Ain't no more. What you mean? Ain't no more work for them to do. So what happened? See the drones. They got to go. They gonna, she gonna let them stick around for a little while, you know. Then what, she gonna kick them out the house? With both boots. <laughs> hmm. With both he, boots. Because he get lazy or something, don't wanna work? I don't know, he just eat it up all the food. And don't, oh, okay, he, he eat up all the food? Yeah, you know. So we sometimes have, when you have a child that won't leave home. <laughs> okay, then. And they eat up all the food. <laughs> Every time I come in the kitchen, <laughs> you in the kitchen. <laughs> Eating up all the food. <laughs> oh, no. You ain't gonna talk about, about the drones like that, are you? <laughs> all right, y'all, we bringing y'all in close. I got my... Hi, tool. Hold on, let me get mine, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, I got my tool as well. Awesome. Just in case I need, we got it in my back pocket. We need the smoker. Okay, let me get the smoker because they moving, y'all. Yeah, they're a little agitated because we've already moved the colony over, so they're a little agitated, but we're going to get them back in place. I don't want to smoke too much, but they take this up. Oh, we out of smoke already? Oh no, that's not good. See, we talked it. We talked it too long. Hey, we gotta get some more stuff. You got some more stuff? I got some uh, matches in my pocket. Hold on, y'all. We coming. Here, let's open that up and get that going again. Here 
we come? We got to get this smoker together. Oh man, we are almost out. A swing. Okay, yeah, let's try it. Right on top. Come over. There you go. Mr. H is putting some, he's putting some old grass in there. Okay. Get some puffs on that. Just mash it all in there. A couple of sticks too. Okay. All right, I'm going to puff this a little bit because we don't want to put hot smoke on the bees, okay? All right, we're good now. Okay, let's uh, calm y'all down a little bit. Put my gloves back on. Okay. Ready, Miss Sage? Yeah, let me put this on the bridge right here. So all this is doing is just interfering with their communication, okay? Which is what we want to do. All right. You ready, Miss Sage? Yes. Let me know when you're ready for me to lift up. I'm ready. Okay. This is back too far. Okay. There we go. Let's do it. Woo! Get it upside down and let them in case they want it. Very careful not to crush our queen. Okay, you want to grab it in. And be careful not to roll the bees. So we're going to lift them out slowly. Oh, just look at that. Probably need to bring y'all in closer, don't it? Let me bring y'all in a little closer. Man, this is a beautiful frame of honey and pollen. Our beautiful frame of nectar and pollen. And we're going to get these bees in place. And the one thing we're going to do is be very calm. Be careful not to kill your bees in the process of moving them over. Wow, this is a beautiful frame of capped brood here. It has capped brood and nectar. Let me bring y'all closer. I really want y'all to see how beautiful these nukes look, okay? I'm trying not to agitate the colony too much. Okay, it's crooked. The colony is crooked. It's Shoot. crooked? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is a beautiful frame of capped brood here. It does have some nectar in it. Capped brood on both sides. All right, so we're gonna turn it around the way that we took it out and gently put it inside. Now the queen is definitely on one of these frames, okay? So we have to be very careful here because we do not want to crush our queen.
Oh wow, this is beautiful. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, let's get them in. So one thing that we do know is that we have a queen that is doing a fantastic job. And we've literally used very little smoke on them. This is a very um, mild colony here. As you can see, they're not paying us any attention really. Now the queen is probably either on this frame or this one. And we're not looking for the queen right now. We're just, we're just trying to get them transitioned to their new location. They are busy at work. That's that's um, Captain Brood, Colin, and Nectar. All right, and last but not least, Okay. I don't see the queen yet, but she's somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. She's definitely present. And we want to put these frames as close together as possible without crushing bees. We ain't trying to create no problems. And then we're going to add our other two frames back to this hive. This, this, this hive holds 10 frames. What's going on here? You gotta go over a little bit. I think something is wrong with this box. I mean, with this actual frame. I'm gonna take this one out Turn and grab. Around. Let me see. Let me see something. I did. You did it this way too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that one. Something's off about that. Frame. Oh, I got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh it's okay. in there. It's, yeah, it Good. Okay, so we have a few bees hanging out in this box here. So what do you think? Um... So what we're gonna do is just literally take this nuke. And put it in front so they can go home. I'm gonna sit this nuke right in front of their new home. Take the top board. Mr. H is gonna put the inner cover on and the cover there we go and that's that and i need to put on an entrance reducer like so That one just won't fit. Hold on. They should all be the same size, though. And they are all the same size, so. Turn it, yeah, like that. Like so, there you go. I don't know, honey. Is it blocking it? No, it's just not going in there. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna have to really, like, uh, push that in once they calm down. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> oh no 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 you um you're right you gotta push it in some more so they can't get at don't crush them though okay now slide it in some more cover that other hole there we go all right so now they can come in and out freely we're not covering that hole though no all right now we're going to move on to the next one you ready miss h yeah i'm thinking the hole is covered they can't get in this is their entrance right here okay okay mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and start smoking this one before we lose smoke. Trying to move quickly so we can get this done. Okay. So you want me to set this over? Yeah. All right, so we just gave them a little smoke. This H is gonna move them over. We're gonna get this box put in place. Black, three. I don't think they can get in, babe. Let they can, check. babe. Let's finish this they... one and we can check it. All right, and as you all can see, they're trying to figure out what's going on. All right, we're ready. Not so close. We're going to move them all over. In fact, you could probably start from this side, since we're quick, but I don't guess it matters, huh? We can keep them the same way how they are. Let's see here. I want to see if I could actually see the queen. Oh man, this is a beautiful frame. And I mean, they are working these frames. Man, look at that. See how they already come? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I think I just got stung. You think so? Through my jeans. Oh no. Uh 
I hope not. Sure hope he's not inside my jeans. Me too. Y'all know if I start jumping and hollering. All right. just uh, the way they're building out the comb on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to move this black frame out of the way and we can get the last frame in. That's a lot of larva in there. It's a lot of larva in, larva in there, so they're probably getting ready to, to camp that. Oh, hi, Beetle. Where? Right here, you got your, um, where'd he go? Where Down there, we ain't gonna be able to get him because of all of the bees. What, what area? Oh, there it is, right there. Hiding. No, 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 no. I see him, right there. Don't upset the bees. <laughs> no, that's the right there. Okay, okay, let's get this in and get these closed up. Okay. You got them? Yeah. It's another one, too. All right, let's get this in. Okay. You want to get the black frame in? Yes. Okay, you trying to bring them closer, or you going to leave a little gap? Well, I got to get it in first, because... Where my tool is. Here you go. Use this. Move, little one. See, oh. They know they even get out here. Got this one. You have to turn this entrance reducer uh, upside down. Uh, frame. We need two. They right next to you. Okay. You got the inner cover? Yeah. I think I know what's wrong with the other one. Okay. We locked them out of the house. That's why they're going crazy. to put that other one on the uh, in the front of this one I suppose so they can um, find their queen put this one where about the um, box there in the front 
They all around this one. There you go. Yeah, I like this one better because it just kind of sits. Can y'all like get out the way? Thank you. See, this one just literally slides on up here. I'm waiting for them to get out of the way. I got it. Okay. Now that's that. So we're going to leave this just like this until the bees are finished getting situated in their new homes. All right. And then we have one hive left that we're going to do. You okay, Miss H? Yeah, I'm okay. Man. We have one left. I'm not trying to get in y'all business. I'm just trying to get over here. Gotta bring the camera on this side. We don't need all five of those. Uh, let me see. That's a white frame. And this is a yellow. That's the one that I'm looking for. And then here's a black one. So we're gonna put them in. Let me see. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So we don't need those and we're gonna put these in once we get it situated. I think we're out of smoke. But we still can generate a little something. You ready? Yeah. Okay, you gotta slide it over first. You gotta move the colony over first. Not a lot of going on right here. Ooh, look at that honey. Mm-hmm. The honeycomb hideout. That's the jackpot. Is that I there? I don't even want to disturb that, but they know they need some. Okay. Let me get the entry. I'm going to start getting these babies out. <laughs> Looks like I got a lot of... Uh... Dead bees in this box. I'm going to be very careful. Not to roll the bees. They don't like it. So you have to be careful. All right. Okay. Who did that hide? That's a lot of cap brood, larva, nectar, drone cells. That's kind of funky too, the way they're, they're making those cells for the drone. That's really weird. You can tell the drone cells because they sit up. Oh, you're a long way away, you can't see. But you can tell the drone cells because the drone cells are much larger than the other cells. They kind of poke way out. They kind of poke way out. So I'm going to go ahead. They got these little funky looking cells here turned all sideways. You see? That's weird. I don't know if I, could, I can't see. Yeah, yeah, they can see it. Okay, so let me get this in. Just going to pull these a little closer together for right now. Let me sit this right here. Okay, let's see here. You want to hold? 
Uh. Got a couple of drone sails on this side. Just okay. poking out. This is mostly nectar and pollen. Oops, sorry. And then over here I see what is that? that's a queen cup. And it looks, uh-oh, it looks like it's an emergency cup. It's not a swarm cell. It looks like an, it's an emergency queen cup. Can you see if anything is in there? Nothing's in there. Okay, so it's just a cup. It's just like, just in case the queen starts slipping because she is laying kind of weird here in this particular colony. So they got a cup there just in case they need to dethrone her for not doing a good job. Okay. Slide these over some more. Let's another look at this one. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Okay. All right, that's a pretty big drone that's in there. He's massive. <laughs> He's gonna be the be the father. He's gonna be the first one to go. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Cause he gonna eat too much. Cause he gonna eat too much. He's gonna be the first one out. So the bees are getting a little agitated, and we didn't smoke them because we're out of smoke. So we're gonna try to move quickly here. You ready, Miss H? Let's get it in because I think they're getting agitated. Yeah, they're trying to get me. All right, so I'm gonna put this frame back in. Yeah, they're getting, they trying to get us now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're getting a little agitated with us. Where's your... So which way you, you going with it? Well, I'm gonna try to get my yellow back over on this side first because I'm doing this pattern to see if it's gonna make a difference with the color of the foundation that they're gonna be working with. So I'm gonna put this waxed yellow foundation in place. You don't have to push them tight because I'm gonna move them. I'm just trying to get my one little frame in over here. And then I'm gonna bring these all back over here carefully. So we're not gonna, we don't put them together too tight, y'all, because y'all could squish bees if you do that. So you have to be very careful not to squish bees. I know I'm very, I like to be careful because I don't want to take any chances on squishing my queen, because if you squish the queen, it's over. No telling what the bees are gonna do if you squish your queen. So you want to be very careful not to hurt your queen. So you have to move gently because you don't know where she could be on these frames, okay? Now I'm gonna grab my other two frames. I thought I had a um, black one. Did you put it back in there? There it um, is, right there. Where? Up under your box. Up under my box? Oh, okay. All right, so here's my black frame that I'm gonna put in right here next to the frame that they've already started to work out. <laughs> Careful not to squish my queen. Now I can put my black frame. Oh, it's already in. And Mr. H is putting in the final frame. That's 10 frames. All right, so now we're just gonna get our inner cover and put it on. 
Any particular side you want down? Well, I was looking at the size. Yeah, let's put this side down. With the comb on it. See on my head stinging it? Mm-hmm. And now we're gonna put the main cover on. Ooh. All right. And now we're gonna take this box and sit this box right in front of the other one and give them an opportunity to go inside. I'm actually going to sit this on top too. I'm going to take these other frames away. Oops. Okay. Are they okay? Yeah. They're still flying. Oh, look at them. They're going everywhere. They're trying to get acclimated to their new home. I'm going to grab my empty smoker. Oh, now it wants to smoke. Now it wants to let out a little smoke. Come on, y'all. We're going to let them out. Let them have some. Whoops. We're going to let them have some moments alone. Hey, look at them. Mr. Look H. Good. Look at that. I see him. Here. This is my tool in my hand. No, I just gave you that. I know, because it's mine. No, I'm saying, where, where's yours? In my hand. You know how I know it's mine? Because uh, yours is in your back pocket. Mm-hmm. Y'all see oh, him? Okay. Busted. <laughs> so you never would have known, man. <laughs> if I wouldn't have seen it, nope. I wouldn't have had a clue. All right, so that's it. I don't know. Was that smooth or was? Yeah, I think that's smooth. I think we're getting used to. I think I, I, I think, I think we were a bit nervous. Not I know just, I was. No, not just now. We was nervous probably a couple of years ago. But. Well, no, I think I was nervous now because let me tell you why. You gonna take your hood off? Yeah. Oh, she's brave. No, I'm good now because. You don't think they gonna they gonna mess with you? No. They they busy doing their thing over there. Okay, I'm gonna trust you now. You gonna trust me? You I know think, I got you. Cause I think I I think one of them just came he over. You? Yeah, I think he hit me on my leg. Oh man, they they are, they're coming over here to these wax frames, so I think we should probably move away because they like this wax here. But as you can see, you can see the activity. Oh, Miss H and I are in your way, but you could see the activity from the hives and they are flying around us but they're not bothering us because they're actually very mild actually you saw that we use very little smoke and we didn't use any smoke on the third one at all right but as you can see they're beginning to come out of that box and they're going into the hive box because the queen's pheromones are no longer strong inside of the nukes and so they're coming up out of that box. They're crawling up out of there. And now they're going inside of the deep brood because that's where their queen is. That's where their queen is, you all. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and move because they keep coming to these wax foundations here. We're gonna get on up out of here. Yeah, let's, really mo let's move over. It's not that they're bothering us because you can see they're not bothering us, but they're coming over to the wax foundation um on yeah that's in the wagon there so yeah i'll stop us right here so we can still see all three of those glorious glorious colonies now this is a long video we almost at 40 minutes but that's okay it's yeah. nice though all right yeah we we got the honeycomb hot out under control yeah as you can see it's on yeah it's, i think i was a little they, nervous they this time because I think I was, um, I think, I just think I was a little nervous this time. You know why? Why? Not because I was afraid mm -hmm. of the bees. Mm -hmm. I think I was more concerned about the queen. Yeah. Well, I didn't want her to fly out. Yeah. I didn't want her to be left in the box. I didn't want to squish her. You know, I think I was very concerned about the queen because we have gone through so much with losing 
calling me. Yes, we have. And I think every time I think about the fact that we lost colonies, it makes me a little nervous. And when I started thinking about that just then while we were putting them in the box, I literally just got, you know, like, I don't want to hurt the queen. I don't want to hurt the queen, you yeah. know? So, oh, that smoker is still going. Okay, let me uh, just keep you smoking. So, yeah. But as you can see, they're, they're fine. They're not thinking about us. They're literally filing into their new homes. They're just literally trying to get acclimated to their new home, their new environment. Now they have a whole lot more space to work with, right? So yeah. that's all they're doing. They're not thinking about us, right? So to me, that's a good sign because one thing that I've learned, that last colony that we had, you all, um, actually, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to end this video and then we're going to start another video talking about all of that and all of the details when it comes to um, what we've experienced and why this is so important to us. Okay. This is three colonies, you all. And actually, we wanted a fourth, but the dollars wouldn't allow it. <laughs> <laughs> the dollars wouldn't. The dollars wouldn't allow it. Now, we may be able to get a package here. Um, if they still have them available, I don't know. We may be a little late on that, but I would love to get a fourth. Um, well, I got a connection. Oh, you do? Oh, you told me about your yeah, connection. Yeah, I got a connection. Another um, new person. Mm -hmm. And he's and and from what Mr. H said, that he's very reasonable. Mr. H, they can't see your face. Hold up. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got a connection, and I'm gonna give him a call. I didn't seem nervous to you. No, no. I seem nervous to me. No, <laughs> no, you did, you did, very good. I had the jitters inside. I couldn't tell. Shucks. I couldn't tell y'all, but um. I was getting anxious. But they doing their thing. They doing their thing. That's a so good sign. A good yeah. We're gonna talk about that right now in the very next video. So if y'all want to see that, stay tune because i don't want this video to be an hour long yeah <laughs> we almost at 45 minutes all right y'all thank you all for coming along with us while we installed our three brand new nucleus colonies here at homestead heart homestead heart y'all and if you haven't done so please give our video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel thank you all again for watching homestead heart and the honeycomb hideout. Peace out. Yes, yes, y'all. Peace out. We're going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.